Yo! So this is the, not the first video of 2019, 2019, it's 2020. Damn. First video of 2020 that I'm filming, long story short, it's been a while, I said a lot, and apologies, I really do. We gonna try again, but you know, new year, new go of things. I filmed quite a lot, so like, if technically I did upload them, this wouldn't all be strange. <laughs> Since then, in the whole time I was gone, but one, two, three, four, five haircuts, done my hair twice, and the second time I got it really blonde, and I have all these roots. So, you know it's been a while. Lost weight, gained weight, lost weight again. Went overseas, moved. <laughs> I should have a moving vlog. That's something I filmed in the coming out soon, but I wanted to put this one up first because it's already the 17th of January. We should just get started into everything. Wanted to do another favorites, end of the year. There's 19 favorites. A different genre is this. Time. By that I mean like I had a tab electronics. I have one beauty product. I got one. I just realized this thing there. It's a blankie, but it's because he moved. It's still in the vacuum seal bag. So. But it's there because the grid thing puts marks on the wall. So for now it's helping that. So for clothes and stuff, I pretty much still wear the same stuff. So I just now there's just a couple extra things. Some of this stuff I've had before that stuff, and some of this is newer things. I'm gonna do tops first. It's a, I don't wanna say it wrong, because I swear it's called vitamins. Vitamins? Vitamins. I'm pretty sure it's called vitamins. It's a vitamins tea. I love it, it's my favorite thing. Like, favorite shirt ever. It's this one. I wore it the other day for like a few minutes, so it's a bit scraggly looking. It's, it's very worn. Because I am the world's best dad. I am a father of three. If you didn't know. This isn't a small. But it's like a unisex small. So it's like slightly oversized. I was looking at this other shirt. That I really wanted. And then my sister and my mum went out shopping one day. And they found this one. They're like, I know it's not the one you wanted. But do you want this one? And they kind of told me what it looked like. I didn't know it said world's best dad. They're like, it's a vitamins tea. And it's not special if you want it. I was like, I wear it quite a lot. It's starting to fade and the print is starting to crack. But I love it so much. And because I love it so much, I wanted to get another one. Another vitamins tea because I just like the quality. So I bought the original shirt I was looking at, but I only got it recently, so I don't want to put it in the favourites video. But maybe it'll be in this year's one. You don't know. That is my favourite piece of the year. Favourite thing that I am. It's funny because I do not know it has Chinese characters on it. I can't read or understand Chinese. So I'm hoping it doesn't say anything inappropriate. But I've yet to translate it. I've had people read my shirt, but they haven't told me what it says. Now, second shirt. I wore this in my 2018 favorites video, the white crop top. And I talked about it and I said I read, got it recently. I'd say it was one, but I haven't put it in it. Which I probably should have because I was still wearing it back then. Just a white crop top. Button up. I'm wearing a very similar one. I do have this in black though. I would put it in the video. It is a favorite. It is in the video technically. This in black. But it's, I, got, I washed it this morning. So it's hanging out. I just imagine this in black. It's from Brandy. They're pretty good tops. You can fit into them. So they are free size. But they're quite stretchy. So like a, I'd say like a decent amount of people could probably fit in them. Yeah, so that's just for tops. Technically there's three. One is in it, but just isn't in it because it's hanging up and it's wet. I didn't want to put it here and put it sit. Then we get to bottoms. One of them is this skirt. Mm, it's nice. Black. The white floral with like little bit. I'll go a bit closer so you can see. I have worn the crap out of this since I got it. It's the only skirt I wear besides my denim one. My denim one's a bit too big. Whereas this one fits. Like honestly. I wear the vitamins tea with this skirt. The next one is a pair of shorts. That's what I wear. <laughs> or I wear the other crop top. <laughs> or I wear one of the other plain t-shirts. Yeah, I wear the same things. I don't, I, I don't really change it up, except for right now. It's in Universal Store. 
It's Perfect Stranger. This is also Perfect Stranger, by the way. It's one of the few brands I do like from Universal Store. Very consistent. All their linen stuff's really nice, too. And like, it's not, like, super expensive. So, next one. Pair of shorts. I've mentioned these shorts before. They're denim. I got them for my birthday. They're long line. They're gingerly my shorts. I'll show them again. Here's the long line shorts. Oh, I've shown them before because they're on my birthday video. But I absolutely love them. Because it was still kind of cold before we went to Europe. It was raining a lot at home actually before we left and it was still cold. I took two pairs of shorts. Well, denim pairs of shorts. I took my Kasubi ones that were in my last favourites video. And these ones. The my Kasubi ones, I wore them the first day we were there. The first day we went to Florence. So we were up early in the morning, took a train to Florence. Walked around all day. It started raining and then I had to take the train back to Rome. And just like that one day, just I had chafing for the whole trip after that one day. But the next day, I was like, okay, I'll still wear the shorts. But I've got really, like my thighs are just so sore. It really did not help. Especially because they're really short shorts. There's no inseam. So it's two days I couldn't wear anything. Like I was wearing skirts. So like I was like, oh, I want to look slightly nicer. But like still chafing. On the third day, I wore these. And then I wore them the whole time. There's one thing nice because they're so, like, they're, they're vintage. I understand they're vintage. These things happen. But they're just so, like, used. I spit. <laughs> I split. I have a split on the butt. <laughs> Luckily though, it's hidden, like underneath, kind of on the on the butt cheek. Like I'm so upset because I tried to wear them again, they split more, so I have to fix them. I didn't think I'd like the long line shorts. I'm like, ah, oh, I can't do that. I'm too short for that. And yeah, I can't. My leg is cut off and all that stuff. But then you put them on. I suggest long line, long line shorts is what I'm trying to say. Time is that. This is the last piece of clothing. It's a jumpsuit. A rumper. I call it a jumpsuit, but it's a rumper. And this I actually have from a while ago. I was into that at the end of 2017. From Urban Outfitters. And I'm not just saying I've only worn it now, no. I've worn it since I bought it. I wore it all of 2018, all of last year. But for some reason I didn't put it in the favourites for last year. But it's just this black and white jumpsuit. It's really beautiful. It's a bit of a deep V. I like the buttons. Can you see the buttons? I usually wear it with a bralette because if I wear a bra with it, you can see the bra is up nice least when you see the bralette, it's like a nice bit of lace peeking out from underneath, so not so bad. It's from Kimchi Blue, the brand, size medium, because I've already found it, my mum actually found it. It was on the sale section for 20 bucks. When she saw it, she's like, it's a nice little fit here, and I bought it, and I absolutely love it. It's up there with the vitamins tea, except it was 2018 Christmas. Yeah, that I was holding my dog. <laughs> I was holding it and my bracelet got stuck. The tiniest little pull. And it was my bracelet had like link was like open. So when I was holding it and I was here, it was like scratching up and down. I was like, when I looked down, I was almost in tears. Yeah, this is like one of my favorite pieces. Like top five pieces. So far it's this and the vitamins tea and not three. I don't know what the other three are yet. But we'll find out. So there's all the clothes. She moved, didn't she? Okay. The next one is shoes. Um, nothing really has changed. <laughs> I still wear my platform white converse. My platform black converse. And I mentioned these in the last video. I said my Birks are also a favourite, but I didn't get them. So I decided to actually show you my Birks. These. Oh my god, they're just so dirty, so that's all you get. I think I need a new pair, but I still wear them every time. It's so much easier just to grab just to show them everything. That's all the clothes really the things. Now what? Jewelry? Yeah, they're jewelry. I feel really bad because most of the stuff I either talked about before or I just quickly mentioned in videos. That's pretty much what I buy is what I wear. Because I still wear the jewelry I wear, but because these pieces, they're already out. In my other house, I had the acrylic little thingy. They were on top. I wanted to wear something that would just be there. That's pretty much why they're my favourites because I have to wear them. So the first piece I showed in my birthday video, a piece I bought from 60 the label. It's a bit dirty. Apologies. There's also this one that I think I touched on quickly in a video. Like one of the ones I did throughout the year. Not a lot. But my sister, 
I helped. Mm, if you help make it, it's not that hard. It's a key. I bought the chain, and my sister gave me her key because they wanted to get Louis Vuitton locks on the necklaces, those necklaces, but they were really expensive to buy them. So my sister found someone who was selling her locks, and then they just bought chains and made them themselves. And I said, oh, that's really nice, but I don't wear gold. I'd love to have one. No one's selling like a Louis Vuitton silver lock or something. And my sister said, I'll have a look. And she couldn't really find anything, but she said, I have a handbag. It's a Saint Laurent sac de jour. And so you can't have my lock, because if you get it wet, I'll kill you. But you can use one of the keys. So she gave me one of her keys. They come two, I think with the lock and I bought the chain and then it's just this same little key. See you now? Oh, I'm gonna wear this. I actually have a bikini. I still wear my leopard print one. The leopard leopard print, not the snow leopard, not so much. You'd think that the leopard print would be more revealing than the snow leopard print, but the snow leopard one is quite, it's more revealing than, than what you think. So I don't like to wear it so much. And even then the leopard print is still revealing. I mean my sister's girl bought a bikini from Myra Swim. Even though I love these little baggies that I came with. It's so handy. This one's a bit more covered up than my other ones, but still it's a bit showing. Here are the bottoms I got. Black pair. I got a black bikini and like the tie ups. But they're removable tie ups. So I just move them around. It's my only black bikini, which is weird. Like I had a bit of black bikini top, but I didn't have black bikini bottom. So I it's nice that I finally have a black bikini. And then here's the bikini top I got. So it's just around the back, elasticated. And then it's holes neck. It's got underwire. It's a bit more, it's a more supported, like covered bikini top. And it does cover a lot. It's quite a nice bikini. But I, I wish I got a different top though, a different style of top, because I didn't realize like it's comfortable feel, like the, just the fabric across the back. But it's not ideal. Because it does roll on me and I doesn't feel as supportive as I want, want it to. Which is what I like with the clasp. It feels more sturdy on you. So the bottoms are... I'm not sure of it. I thought it was the Fera. It's P-H-A-R-R. But it could be the Far. It's just those ones. And the top is the Spencer top. Both in black. I got the bottoms in a small and the top in a medium. Now I'm going to do bag. What is weird? Because I've already done a video on this, I did a whole video. This one's the Lenciaga I did with the Na 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 bag. But then also all my bags are favourites. Like, there's my Gucci one. I have it out now because it's got all my stuff in there that's what I've been wearing recently. It is my biggest bag. Because this is the mini Dionysus over there. And it doesn't fit much. Like it fits my stuff. I bought it for Europe. I wanted to carry everything with me, like my portable charger and all that stuff. So there's that. <gasps> like all my bags are my favourites, but that's probably the one I've used the most this year. And then there's this one. I'm gonna just take my cards out. It's a card holder. I got so this is a card a card holder. It's the one I use. I didn't have one for ages. I using like a coin purse or just chucking my stuff in the bag and that was it. So I really wanted one. In Europe was it okay, we're in Europe, it's the first day. I really want to get a card holder. So when we're in Florence. There's a Gucci store there. It went in. I think it's in my book. My sister bought a pair of shoes and I bought this. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it. It's slightly cheaper here anyways. And I need one. When we got there, she said in order, because they give you a refund in Europe. They give you like the, like a tax refund to get the tax back. So it's even cheaper. Like I saved some money buying it over there. That's all good. But, ooh. Yeah, so when I got there, in order to get the refund, they were like, check the box. So like you had to keep it in the box, make sure it's all nice and unused. And I was like, I bought this to use. And I got back. It's just very, very handy. And I don't know why I didn't buy one before. It wasn't much as that one anyway, so. So there's that. And then another favorite, I've got two more favorites. And then there's like electronics. My favorite is this. From Minisaw. It's got three settings. I love it, it's okay. Got this when I was in Bali. It has a stand. I don't have, I can't find the stand. So this also fits in my Lenziaga bag with room for everything else. And it's just really handy. I think everyone should have a handheld fan. And then my last favourite. I feel so weird because it's the only thing I have. It's a BB cushion by Lineage. It's the Paul Blur one. It was a hydro one and the Paul Blur one. I think this is for oily skin. I really wanted to get one for a while because I didn't particularly like how foundation was looking on my face. 
when I did wear makeup. So I kind of just stopped wearing that all together. So when I was looking into BB cushions, I really wanted them because I just liked how they looked on the skin. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's, it's really nice. I really, I didn't think I would like the cushion idea. Especially when I don't wear makeup very much. I'm not wearing it right now. I know that Makeup Forever did one. My sister has one. I don't really sell it much anymore, like I couldn't find it. And Lineage is one of the only ones that did like darker skin tone. I look really pale right now. And like I am slightly pale than I usually am. But it's still dark uh, than like what the shade ranges are for these usual ones. And they, they're not very dark in their ranges. They do go considerably dark, but like not very dark. I think it's only like two or three darker than that shade. I'm not sure what shade it is, but I know it's only got like a couple more. I'll put it in the description. The colour and all that stuff. So there's that. So that's it. Let's hope 2020 is a good year. I'm hoping it is. Literally the first day of the year, I was sick. It was not a, not a good day. Not a good start to the year. I was like, oh god, I'm dying. <laughs> we got through it. That's over and done with. And now I have this lung infection, throat infection. Hopefully get this video up soon. I already told it's the 17th, isn't it? I don't learn. I just keep procrastinating and procrastinating and procrastinating. All I can say is that I didn't do what I wanted. I think I said I wanted to do a video every other week. So at least 26 videos last year. I don't think I even reached 10. But we tried. Did we fail? Yes, but we tried. And that's all I wanted. I wanted to do something and I tried it. Don't want to say get 26 videos this year. If we can, holy crap. But if we can get 26 videos, overall this year then that's also a big improvement and really i'd be really happy if i can even do that so i'm lowering my standards even more that's pretty much it so if you like this video feel free to <laughs> like or leave a comment but you don't have to or subscribe but you also don't have to i'm gonna go now so we can eat because we're hungry we're gonna go do that bye